forces on a slope forces on a slope so here we've got a blue uh, box resting on a slope or a ramp and it's got a weight mg now some of the weight mg is going to act uh, down the slope so parallel with the slope and some of it is going to act uh, perpendicular to the slope so there's our force adding parallel and the force going down the slope or parallel with the slope is mg sine theta and the force acting uh, perpendicular to the slope is mg cos theta. So let's have a look at an example. So a 5 kilogram box is placed on a frictionless slope of angle 25 degrees to the horizontal. What force acts parallel to the slope? So it's mg sine theta. So mg sine theta is equal to 5 times 9.81 times sine of 25, which is equal to 21 newtons. Okay, here's another example. A 2 kilogram box is placed on a frictionless slope of angle 35 degrees to the horizontal, and it slides uh, from rest uh, to uh, for a distance of 10 meters. What's the final speed at the bottom of the ramp? Okay, so F equals ma, and... Uh, would the, there's an, it's frictionless, so there's no friction. The only force acting on our uh, box uh, that's going down the slope uh, is mg sine theta. So we divide both sides by uh, m, and we find the acceleration uh, is g sine theta, which is 9.81 times sine of 35, which is equal to 5.63 meters per second squared. Now we're going to use one of our SUVAT equation of motion and uh, we're going to use V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So V squared equals 0 squared plus 2 times 5.63 times by 10. Okay, so 0 squared because it's starting from rest, okay, uh, plus uh, 2 times our acceleration down the slope, which is 5.63, and then times by 10 because it's going a distance of 10 meters. And we get V squared is equal to 112.5. So if we square root that answer, we get a final answer of 10.6 meters per second. Okay guys, I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye for now.